Hello, yes, it's been a while. And <clears throat> I've been uh, really, really busy last week with stuffs, you know. And yeah, so we're back. We're back with a uh, quick deck text. And we have a spicy mitabore because it's what I have a love hate relationship with this kind of uh, deck. But it's UW control in post rotation standard. So I was uh, skimming around uh, Zendikar Rising uh, previews and I seen this. Oh, no, not that card. <laughs> not that one. This one. This one. Uh, this card. Oh, no, not that. <laughs> this card. Deliberate. Deliberate is a instant for one colorless, one blue. And it says, try to then draw a card. So it sort of looks like preordain. And uh, it's an instant. So it feeds the graveyard. So paired up with Uro. You know. Yeah. Anyway, but... Uh, after this week, I will try to just go far away from green blue and you know slightly get out of the beaten path of uh playing blue decks, but this would be one of those uh i I have two quick decks quick deck decks for this week, and they have blue in it. And we're going for the more expensive one first. So this is UW Control. And what does it do? It just delays the turn, wipes the board, puts in a threat, and wins the game. Easy, right? Yeah, sort of. Uh, it depends if, if the opponent is very fast and you don't get your draws. But uh, with Revitalize, it's a draw engine, uh, Birth of Melody smoothing your land drops, Banishing Light and a 4-drop board sweep would greatly immense help you uh, would help you uh, get your board control in the long run with Tranquil Coves gaining you 1 life and you know uh, edging out your draws uh, your win con would be uh, Archon of Sun's Grace 2 copies and 4 Shark Typhoons along with Teferi so that is the deck and we'll try to play some games and try to see uh, standard 21 and post rotation UW control. So, hey, next, why don't you put in Dream Trawler and, and, and stuff? Uh, as you've seen, there's uh, Elspeth Conquers that, there's uh, Birth of Melitis and uh, a Banishing Light. And a shark typhoon so they feed uh the archon is mm, a little bit better a lower curve which means you can cast him then cast a enchantment uh, to follow him up anyway so since deliberate is out it inspired me to make a uw deck so we're on the draw so we're gonna play one or two games then we'll see where the rabbit hole goes. Yeah, it's uh, green and Tranquil Cove. Oh, oh, oh wow. Three glass caskets. That's a very bad. Ooh, he still does nothing. So, which means we can smooth our draws. Yes. We have a. Yeah, yeah. We can. It's green blue or most probably ramp. So I think our glass caskets are dead in the water. I hope not. I think. Okay. Oh, okay. Glass caskets still online. Hmm. Do we Shark Typhoon? Yeah, we have four copies and we need to keep. So it's green, blue, mutate. 
Yeah. I think we did it wrong. Oh boy. It's okay. Oh boy, that was that was very bad. That was that was wrong on our part. But he has no land drops, so we're really really in the clear. And we just get to smack him with that one one tiny shark. I think we should have played the fairy, but hmm. A four to cast, so we can't glass casket it. Hmm. We could we could neutralize it because once he gets to on top, and we didn't even bother. Uh, we're gonna have a hard time with that. But we have the ferry. We can discard the glass caskets. Years, and there's the shark typhoon. Which we could hard cast if uh, nothing bad happens. I don't know. There's another great horn. Oh no, Strix. Ooh. Okay. We're just gonna take a. Uh, Revitalize is so good. We could we could just do this and then and keep smacking. Oh, and there's the good seed. Wow, wow, wow. So UW looks good heading into uh post rotation with you know there's a lot more of cards that will be added through syndicate rising and um yeah there's a lot of tools like i've seen a let's see this mm. there's a seven mana spell that that you draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand and you have no maximum hand size and it it's a modal card so you can oh wait <laughs> it's our turn uh this is really good against if we get that one bl one land drop we'll be fine but we're on the draw so we can afford to mulligan and we're gonna keep this. Oh boy. At least we have a Skyland and a draw card. And Woolen says hello. So let's say hello. Oh, red and an opening. It's, it's, it's saying something. We don't know what it's. Black. Oh, it's a black red menace. Like, I like the deck. But start start with that I hope it doesn't cast anything but you know many decks have low curves Ugh. here he goes so, Menace lifelink a oh, many stuff that touch all right no problems there I'm gonna take three now we need our um So we're gonna take four. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Hmm. We need a land up and a. Yeah, we're, we're gonna let it resolve. We need a white source and a shatter the sky back to back. So let's see first our raw. Oh. A white source, but it's a wow. called it. 
So we're back at 20. We're gonna take like 7 damage. And... We're, yeah, we're gonna keep counter magic up against this card. And we're gonna take 7 damage. Hmm. Embercleave. Embercleave could have been like disastrous. So he's keeping two lands. We're we're still still having our I cannot afford to like um take another swing because he may have uh haste creatures. We have a yeah, he's going he's looking yeah that's that okay no problem there oh three more creatures oh oh dear I should have been nicer yeah. wow too bad uh, we'll have a yes one card in hand and we cannot block profitably. But we're gonna put in a lifelinker. We are going to offset one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight damage. If we just going to pump using the labyrinth raptor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here comes the pumps. Pump, pump it up. Pump up the jail. And leaving. Oh, okay. Another pump. Another pump, 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 pump. So we can not still. A nice block. So we need. Okay, we could we could destroy this. Good. Ah. <sighs> I forgot. I'm going to swing. But if he's going to pump, then swing it. Then I might have a chance. He's going for the te the the fairy master of time. Still okay. We get to get to stifle a turn. For the throat, gonna chase that away. He's going to. Pump, we're gonna each other, uh, each creature. We're gonna take four damage. Very, very troublesome. Oh. Gain two life. Draw this card for Lana. Turn that. Why does he have like 22 22? Creature control with manage becomes block defending player sacrifice. Why did. How did he. 22 22? Holy, holy, holy guacamole. Hola guacamole. What happened? 22 22. 22 2. 22 power. Two toughness. What happened? That was interesting. Okay. We are gonna double block a bunch of life link. We have no problem anymore with Archon dying because we have a Elspeth online. Gonna sacrifice this one. 
Yes. Let's let's make him use up the manas. It's all good. We can cycle this. Oh dear. A very big creature. One, two, three, four, five, six. If you have a land, go the distance. Hmm. At that kind of distance. But we're still down to. Still up 10. Can take a damage, most probably. Unless Labyrinth goes for Teferi, then we could, could let him pump once. One, two, three, four, five. Then we have Revitalize. So we'll have enough creatures to, you know, make a. An army, an ar army. The great words of Paul of Flores. Great shout, big shout out. Oh. Oh, we did not go for the face. Thanks. Ooh, another shark typhoon. So disgusting. He has no cards in hand. Get away. Game, I hope. Uh, there's... Going at it. Gonna widen the gap. No oh dear, another a shark typhoon, a big shark typhoon, or yeah, I think we need a. Yeah, we could we could present lethal next turn. We we already present lethal this turn. Game. Uh, oh good. Oh dear. And why you have to do that, bro? Uh two six seven. Seven. So, uh, whenever I play this deck, it reminds me of uh, Ivo. Big shout out to Daddy Ivo. Big UW player. P Flow. P Flow. And uh, there's the big swings by the big sharkies. So that's that. What that's what that's what UW does. Uh, stalls the board, puts threats, win the game. Easy. Anyway, once again, our spoiler card. No, no, not not that one. But this was the one card that I'm also excited to see. Uh, when Zandika right, if somebody can break, uh, this card, Seagate restoration so draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand uh you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game and it's a modal card so when we turn it over it's seagate reborn it comes into play tap 
unless you pay three life. And it makes a blue mana. So early game, you draw it. Oh, make it into a land. Then uh, through maybe, I think, uh, returning the land. Or if you draw the extra copy. So, so I've seen deck list already, especially in mono red, that does not have lands. Or, yeah, 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 yeah. There's, there's most all of the modal mountains in a mono red deck. That's spicy. I want to build it. I'm going to build it. Anyway, that's all. And I'll see you in the next blue deck that I'll post for this week. And it's budget. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.